Y'all are either gonna love me or hate me for this one. HBR Talk with Hannah Wallen. The problem persists because men don't speak out. Men won't speak out because who's gonna care? Speaking out just brings disparaging stares. But why is the system so full of despair? The system won't care because that's its design. Men's complaints aren't written into our laws. They can't be protected, they must be the cause. Who knew that our system could harbor such flaws? Some plead for help, only then do they learn. The system can turn on them like a mad hound. The wheels of injustice are mowing them down for the crime of being victimized outside of bounds. The system won't care because common belief says the problem is really quite rare among men. So on them, no resources need to be spent rejected or burned when they most need a friend. Male victims aren't helped because they're unknown. They're shuffled aside by the grievance machine. Their needs and experiences are going unseen in a system with broad cracks they fall between. But why does this problem remain unaddressed? Why is it still hidden if men have such clout and talk of such problems is bandied about? The problem persists because men don't speak out. Men are the problem, let's talk about that. Men speaking out have just stepped out of turn. Listen to women, you so much to learn. Solve our problems first and your place you can earn. We don't need laws for protection of men. It's women whose needs they should all benefit. And in women's names legislation is writ. How dare a man take advantage of it? Statistics we've gathered in women's retreats show men don't experience this anyway. Don't give assistance, no, all men must pay. Men must step down and give women their say. And if men are victimized by any chance, their own attitude will not let them complain. We'll just give this attitude its own name. So then we can tell you that men are to blame. Men are to blame because every last one is infected with toxic masculinity. They're just too entitled and violent to see how they're affected by patriarchy. This is a thing you just don't understand. Their downfall is their own original sin. For patriarchy is the power of men. Men are the problem, we'll say it again. The problem persists because men don't speak out. Men speaking out have just stepped out of turn. Men's complaints aren't written into our laws. We don't need laws for protection. They're shuffled aside by the grievance machine. How dare a man take advantage of it? Who knew that our system could harbor such flaws? Listen to women, you have so much to learn. But why does this problem remain unaddressed? Why is it still hidden if men have such clout and talk of such problems is bandied about? The problem persists because men don't speak out. This week, HBR Talk will examine the cycle of blame, shame, and denial that too often makes men's issues invisible and creates barriers and pain when men are most in need of practical compassion. We stream on multiple platforms. You can tune in to the live stream on YouTube via the link in the low bar or find other viewing and listening options on badgerfeed.com.